It's Animation Rewind here, and as we all know, Mario vs. Sonic is an endless rivalry. So this time, let's add to that endlessness by having these two fight out in creepypasta fashion. We got Mario.exe, one of the many .exe slap-ons, and Sonic.exe, the original .exe creepypasta. Sonic.exe, the possessed Sonic game, versus Mario.exe, the possessed Mario game. Two will fight, but only one will win. Let's find out who wins. Let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's next round of fighters. Oh, wait, wait, Brian, wait! Now let's watch a whole bunch of ads. Oh. Mario.exe, also known as Plumber X, is the evil counterpart of Mario and the main antagonist from the creepypasta game based off of the Sonic EXE game. He is a demonic being that takes the form of Mario in order to kill all of Mario's friends, including his girlfriend Princess Peach, or wannabe girlfriend at least, by ripping the souls out of them and by pretending to play a game with them. He's an old trickster, you see. Keep in mind that Mario and Mario.exe are two separate entities, so in a way, he's a bit different than Sonic EXE. He isn't an older form of Mario or a clone of Mario. He's a totally separate demon disguised as Mario. As you may know, Mario.exe is a Sonic.ex parody. For example, Sonic.exe killed his victims by ripping the souls out of the players who play the haunted game. Mario.exe does something quite similar. Now here's the difference, the real Mario actually battled Mario.exe to save his friends, and he beat him by using- <laughs> So this technically isn't even a canon Mario, there goes scaling for you. Nonetheless, this proves that Mario.exe is actually not the most powerful character in his own universe. After Mario.exe kicked the bucket, all of his victims return to their normal state and reunite with the real Mario. Peach then gives Mario a kiss for saving the world. As far as powers and abilities go, Mario.exe has short distance teleportation, soul manipulation, and flotation abilities. As for his physical strength, he is powerful enough to take on the likes of Wario, Luigi, Bowser, and others, but he did lose a battle to Mario. So we can conclude that Mario.exe, while is not the most powerful character in his verse, he's arguably the second strongest, and possibly could take on a base form Mario in a fight, as Mario did indeed have to power up. Mario.exe is an extremely wicked and sadistic demon. He takes pleasure in watching others suffer. And remember, as I said millions of times, this dude is a demon after all. <laughs> Please note Whoa. that creepypasta characters Whoa. have many adaptations, Whoa. and some are more powerful than Whoa. others. Yeah. There is no true canon with creepypasta. As many of you know, Sonic EXE is known for being a demonic version of Sonic the Hedgehog that was set out to murder the rest of the Sega cast. And spoiler alert, he was successful. He took out Knuckles, Tails, and even Eggman with his own bare hands. He's that vicious and that strong. I mean, just by looking at Sonic EXE, you can tell that there's something a bit wrong with him. He's got a frightening laugh and dark eyes that will set you off a bit. Sonic EXE is also the leader of the X-Cult and their mission is to torture as many souls as possible. Speaking of souls, in Sonic EXE's purest form, he's essentially a malicious spirit. His physical form only appears as a dead Sonic corpse. Sonic EXE's soul adapts all the physical traits that Sonic once had. However, due to his weakened and battered body, Sonic EXE is far less durable in his physical form. Now keep in mind the only thing that's declined with Sonic EXE is durability. When comparing speed and strength, Sonic EXE is actually faster and stronger than Sonic. Sonic EXE is so strong that he can rip both Knuckles and Tails' limbs just with his bare strength alone. While on the battlefield, Sonic EXE is sure to get a scream out of you. His scary appearance and deadly attitude takes his enemies off guard. You'll never know when Sonic EXE is about to attack. He's known to hide out of sight, waiting to make a move. Sonic EXE can both teleport and perform mental torture on his subjects via his demon's lap. Always look behind you because Sonic EXE can appear anywhere at any point. Overall, Sonic EXE is a demon spirit with a killer instinct. Sonic EXE is not invincible, although he is a spirit. When compared to Sonic, he's stronger, faster, but less durable. It's just getting bad out there. Just getting bad. Say what? And now, let's get ready for the fight. 
This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin! Hopefully you enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Team Animation Rewind's Ozato. Thanks, and enjoy the post-analysis. And the winner of this battle is Sonic.exe. Sonic.exe has the one thing that Mario.exe lacks, and that's prolonged experience. Mario.exe defeated most of his foes purely through tricking them into believing that he was the real Mario, so he got everyone with their guard down. Sure, some people later in the game became aware of who he was, but compare that to Sonic.exe's rise to power. Sonic.exe from the get-go was killing his target in direct hunting fashion. He makes no distinction that he may be the real Sonic. One thing that makes scaling for Mario.exe difficult is the fact that Mario.exe is a completely separate demon pretending to be Mario. Sonic.exe on the other hand is actually an old Sonic body, so we can at least go off of classic Sonic scales. Sonic.exe has a much easier time scaling to the Sonic characters, and Mario.exe faced characters that seemed to be from a completely different verse, as he battled a non-canon version of Mario. Sonic.exe was strong enough to tear off the limbs of Tails, Knuckles, and Eggman with his own bare hands. Mario.exe is also a confirmed Sonic.exe parody, which technically doesn't mean anything power scaling or versus wise, but it does imply when Mario.exe makes claims of being a god, it's hard to say if he's being honest or if he is just parroting Sonic.exe. Sonic.exe beats Mario.exe in similar reasons why Mario would. In fact, don't forget that Sonic.exe has his own Super Sonic Sonic.exe form, whereas Mario.exe isn't actually a real Mario, so thus it's hard to assume his demon form would also have a Super Saiyan form. What? So Super Sonic.exe should beat Mario.exe in the same way that Mario did making the winner of this battle, Sonic.exe. Now, if you want to see a rematch between Sonic.exe and the evil Power Star Mario, all you gotta do is like this video. If this video gets 5,000 likes, there will be a rematch. Don't forget to comment on your own ideas, and stay tuned as the next fighters are going to be revealed. On the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Run!
right in the kisser. Let the good times roll. <laughs> Ooh, you devil. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>